Hi, my name is Vicki Dirksen. I am the Vice President of the Fountain Hills Dark Sky Association. And this is our International Dark Sky Week. And we have with us award-winning children's book author, Marsha Diane Arnold. Marsha, thank you for joining us. I'm so excited to be part of the Fountain Hills Dark Sky Festival and International Dark Sky Week. This is wonderful. Yes, and so you've agreed to join us to uh, read a story time for young children with your book called Lights Out. And I wanna talk just for a minute about Lights Out. What was your inspiration for writing this book? And, and let me start by saying, this book blew me away because I didn't really understand that you could teach such an abstract concept to such a young audience and you've done it perfectly. So what was your inspiration? That's interesting that you talk about teaching an abstract concept to children. They are able to understand abstract content, concepts and that is what I often am trying to do in my books. Uh, the inspiration probably was just that I started hearing about light pollution. And when I mentioned light pollution to other people, most of them did not know what it was. Um, I think I mentioned to you before, Vicki, that I had this wonderful experience going up into the Sierra Nevadas and camping at over 10,000 feet with a group of artists in the back country. They had invited me. And when I looked up at the night sky the first night, I simply started to laugh because I had never been that close to the stars. And I, I was just actually, what was the name of it? Saving the Dark. It's a documentary. And I had just started to listen to it before we, we started to meet. And one person said, in our world today, we are, it was something like, in our world today, we are woefully missing in being humble, knowing how to be humble. Mm -hmm. And so they would go out under the dark skies to feel that and feel that wonder. And we do see a lot of ego in our world today. And it made me think maybe part of that is because we can't see the amazing night sky that we are part of and also the nocturnal animals that are affected by too much light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful way to put it. And you use animals to tell the story uh, to children and which I think is a brilliant way to connect with kids. Well, probably a brilliant way to connect with all age groups, to be honest. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's jump into your book. All right. And I will share my screen so you can all see the pictures of Lights Out a bit better. And we are going to go along with Fox and Firefly and the other animals they meet up on their journey and in our search for the dark. So. All right, everyone, this is Lights Out. And the amazing, stunning illustrations are by Susan Reagan. Little Fox peeks out from her den. Beetle flicks above her. Lights out, she barks, but the lights stay on. House lights, car lights, truck lights, street lights, red lights, yellow lights, blue lights, green lights, flood lights, boat lights, search lights, bridge lights, blinking lights, flashing lights, blazing lights, flickering lights, everywhere lights. Where is darkness? Where is night? Where coyotes sing, owls hunt, and birds fly across continents where foxes move through the dark and beetles are more than beetles. Fox and beetle wonder if night is only lost out there somewhere. And so together they set out across the wide, wide world they search for the dark of night. 
but everywhere lights. High above them, songbird flies, confused and ever circling. Where are the stars to guide her? Across the wide, wide world they search for the dark of night, but everywhere lights. And you can look carefully and see that Songbird has joined them in their search. In the wetlands, Frog quietly waits to join a nighttime chorus without dark, only silence. Across the wide, wide world they search for the dark of night, but everywhere lights. And look who's following now. Frog has joined them in their search for night. On the mountain, Bear is wakeful. There's too much light to hibernate. Bear bellows at the brightness. Across the wide, wide world they search for the dark of night. But everywhere, lights. Through the forest and the meadows, across highlands, deserts, dunes, on tundra, prairies, and high mountains, they search. And of course we can see Bear now, he's the biggest of them all. They come up on a seashore, something's happening on the beach. Baby turtles hatching, baby turtles scattering. Fox and Bear run to the water, frog holding tight to Fox. Swimming away from shore and lights, they call out to the hatchlings to follow. Beetle and songbird call from above. Now in deep water, the sky grows darker. Beetle sparks, sparkles, glows. More than a beetle, firefly. So beetle is really a firefly and no one knew because there was no darkness before. The baby turtles follow firefly and moons glow. Patterns of the night emerge. The hatchlings paddle safely away. Fox and firefly, frog, bear, and songbird swim on toward a dark and distant island. And when they come to the darkest place of all, they can see everything. Look at all the wondrous things that we can see in the dark. Oh my. Shadowy shapes, dappled gray, silvery white, shimmering bay. Mushrooms glowing, fireflies, moonlit garden, shining eyes. Nighttime weavers, webs of stars. Constellations, Venus, Mars. Great bear, little, comet play, dancing moonbeams, Milky Way. Lights on. Thankfully, they have found darkness. Thank you for listening to Lights Out. <laughs> Thank you, Vicki. Thank come you, Marcia. <laughs> This is one of my favorite books. I love it so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it's one of my favorite books that I've written also actually. <laughs> well, we appreciate you being with us and we can't wait to share this with many, many children. Wonderful. Thank you for inviting me and have a wonderful Dark Sky Festival. I hope to come next year. It's kind of on my calendar. Oh, good. We have... Um, usually in March, and we're, we have a wonderful um, live event in person. Wonderful. Yeah. I'll plan to be there. Awesome. <laughs> we will stay in touch. <laughs> Thank you, Vicki. Thank you too, Marsha. I appreciate you.